my opinion. Run and gather. Okay. So first thing we do, we're practicing here for the Sugar Bowl. Okay. These first two guys that go are corners, right? And I find that safeties are generally better at this because they're used to tracking the ball inside out through the alley, right? What these two guys don't do, I like their angles. I like how they're finishing on the backside hip. What they don't do is they're not keeping their shoulders square. So now watch these two guys, right? Watch the kid with the uh, with the wrist brace on right here. He's fighting to keep his shoulders square. That's very important. Every big run, 90% of them, I would say, comes because somebody got cut back on at some point. Very few times is the defense actually going to get totally circled, right? At some point, somebody lost leverage. Watch Bug right here keeping his shoulder square as he's tracking at an angle. Okay? Watch Derek keeping his shoulder square as he's tracking at an angle. Watch Keaton, probably the best one at it. Shoulder square as he's tracking at an angle. Okay? Now we go to three whistle tackle. What is this? It's three breaks. Whistle. Okay, whistle, then whistle with a finish. All we're doing here is emphasizing landing that near foot in the ground right there, that left foot on contact, right? Near foot, near shoulder. We're a near foot, near shoulder tackling team, right? There, perfect, right? Here's another example of a, a deal we do. And guys, we're doing a lot of this stuff, obviously not the contact drills, but we did this this morning at 6 a.m. with the players. Two-on-one contact. And we do it with every position, O-line included. They need to understand principles of leverage, right? Using your help. Sideline tackle. We do this to start practice with the offense. That's our first and second team receivers we're going against. We're just studying. We're not going to the ground, but we need to understand how to use the sideline. This is probably one of my favorites. We're just creating. There's the ball carrier. He's going to run around that cone. There's a tackler. And there's a tackler. Right? We're just creating different angles and situations. Now, for the most part, these guys are operating on their own, if that makes sense. right? They're just using the sideline. They're operating independent of each other, but they're coming at it from different angles using the sideline. Okay, We've got a big heavy bag we like to use. Got it out of a boxing gym right? to where it really gives these guys the sensation of keeping their hips squared through contact. I think Bug's bending at the waist a little bit too much, but he's landing that foot. So now he's able to return power, right? We got to make tackles on big people, right? But most missed tackles come because of poor leverage. Good angle right here by Derek. Good closing speed, near foot, near shoulder. Excellent job. This is a really good look by Keaton versus Alabama. We're just in cover four. He's reading the block of those tight ends. He's fitting where needed off of the Sam linebacker, okay? Showing a little look, rolling back out of it. Here's your fit, good angle. Look at his shoulders being square. This is the same kid that I said was the best one at that running gather drill, right? Shoulders staying square. He's taking away the cutback cut back by body position and angle. Nice job right there, okay? Same kid right here, number 21, near foot, near shoulder. Gets that left foot in the ground, right? He's a little bit on his toe. If he really wants power, he needs that whole foot in the ground.